So you against the demonic world, you against your own self because the Damien is nothing but a soul inside him. The Damien and soul is the same. The word Damien, the word melanin, the word Hades, the word Satan is the same as the word soul. The pre-existent sons. The, 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 the sons. So the whole concept here is the return of the ancient evil is us. The problem here is we have been thinking of our particular selves as good. Now, one of the great mysteries, yeah, one of the great mysteries in ancient Kemet is when they go down what is called the Book of the Gates, and that's when the soul descends deeper and deeper into what is called the twat or the underworld at the hours, each hour of the night. The closer it descends down to the stuff, the more and more the layers of the illusion starts to pop off of this shit. So it starts off as a human, and then it starts to descend, going into the underworld, and all these illusions, bam, pops off. I thought I was this, that, that, that pops off. All this shit pops off, it keeps popping off, it keeps popping off till they get to the goddamn underworld, and guess what? When they get to the damn underworld, guess what? Only thing is left is a whole bunch of monsters. That's what we are. Now, you know, I want you to hear what I'm trying to say. Now, he makes an allusion to it in his book uh, called the um, E. Wallace Budge book, The Egyptian Heaven and Hell. There was a little small volume that was put out years ago. They waited 90 years to put the original text out from from 1906, I think, to 1996, which is three other volumes. And in there they talk about these monsters that's in these realms when you descend deeper into, your, in, into the underworld. Whenever we shed all of this stuff that we call human, we turn into motherfucking monsters. The, the predator, alien, Godzilla. No, listen to me what I'm trying to tell you. It's not just a high glyph. What I'm trying to tell you, now listen to me what I'm trying to tell you. In these texts is called the monstrous soul. They say man is so far removed from what it really was and so when it gets a glimpse of his soul, it's fighting at what it sees. Because guess what? When you see them monsters and them demons in the brood at night, guess what? That's your fucking soul. We are monsters. The ancient evil. I'm not telling you some shit that I try to give all the scholarship and stuff like this and all. It's called the monstrous soul. The book Dreams in the Underworld, they talk about these night brood, these breeds. Go back and get the, the, the Greek text where they talk about the titans. When the titans fell, what were these titans? There was a bunch of brood and a breed of these slimy, grotesque things. That's what the fuck fell. That's what the Olympian realm of Zeus and them defeated. They defeated a bunch of monsters. It's in the goddamn movie Demon Knight What's the name of that movie, uh? Tales from the Crypts. Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt. Demon Knight with Billy Zane and Jada Pickett. And they say, in the beginning, demons used to rule the earth. All right? If you get the movie, if you get the movie Wishmaster 1 and 2, this is for the Islamic folks. They say in the beginning, jinns used to rule. And the wish master say, what? We get enough wishes, jinns walk the earth again. Especially the wish master too. Then we are the jinn. We are the Damien. But I ain't talking about some good shit. I, I was candy coating that shit for years. Oh, you know the Damien is good. Y'all all right? Yeah. Yeah. Ruthlessness. Damon, look now. 
the Cthulhu. Cthulhu is a group of monsters that used to rule. Used to rule. That was overthrown. And where man lives now, Cthulhu, Shemigarath, Hastar, Yosathos, Azathos, used to rule, but they will be ushered in by one dark messenger called Nearly Hotep, the dark god. And he's called Crawling Chaos. Now, Cthulhu and them used to rule, and we and where, where man they say where man rules now, the great old ones used to rule. When the great old ones where man rules now, the great old ones shall rule again. Now stick with me on this. This is very important. They got this H.P. Lovecraft dream of all these damn Cthulhu and all these monsters. And the basis of the old monster movie and the basis of horror comes from H.P. Lovecraft Cthulhu mythos, with the call of Cthulhu being the first in 1922. Now, he was getting these things from the dream realm of what he was seeing, and he was a racist. But why, if a man of racist would name the ultimate messenger of his mythology that made him rich? A black man, who was supposed to be the only human of all of them, was the black man, nearly hotel, crawling chaos. Now stick with me. A guy named Fred L. Pelton in 1947 traced the Cthulhu mythos, which is supposed to be fictional, and lined it up with ancient Egyptian, Sumerian, and Greek mythology and proved that the Cthulhu shit of these monsters used to rule is in... The, the, the ancients have been talking about this shit for years. And when he first did it, uh, uh, did, did, did this particular uh, 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 book, wrote this particular thesis, nobody in 1947 would print it. So he ended up dying, his kids sold off the shit, and they weren't able to get this shit to 1996. The, the guy to the, the Cthulhu cult. The, the guy to the, and he has a whole section called, um, a section called pre-human and non-human races, non-human cultures. Now, and he calls this shit evil mythology. They were non-human. So, the basis of the monster movie that people have been scared of all these years, or these monsters gonna retake the earth, guess what? That's us. This is why the white man gives you religion. He know you ain't gonna never tap into this shit here. This shit here is so motherfucking crazy that you never get it. That's what it always gonna come to. The Godzilla. You see what I'm saying? These particular entities, but it, uh, these particular entities that are pre-human or non-human. But in the book of the gates, which is the your hell scene, like Diop said, but Diop, shake ass of Diop before he died, came to Atlanta, went to the King Center. They even named one day of his money, shake ass of Diop's day. He said that the damn Hebrews didn't even have a hell concept until 100 years before Jesus Christ, and they took the Egyptian book of gates and drafted it into the hell concept, and that becomes the whole Sheol thing. But the Egyptian book of the gates, they only put the complete book of the gates out, which is called the Egyptian book of uh, heaven and hell, a big, a big green book. It's, it's, I got it and all. I mean, it's just trying to translate the shit. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, it's, it's worthless. But they, they, they didn't put it out for, they held it for 90 damn years. But in that, the motherfucking Ani of the person who's going through this shit, when he gets back to his destination, when he gets home, he turned into a goddamn monster. And that's what we are. And whenever you have sex, you express that shit. Whenever you give away to the muse, whenever you give away to the indulgence, you tap back into that primal energy. That's why they got you in church. We have become humans when we are something else. We are titan figures. <laughs>